miasma. A contagious power that has an independent life of its own. Until purged by the sacrifice of the wrongdoer, society would be chronically infected by catastrophe. Attempts to stop the force may have the opposite effect, and ultimately may reinforce the spread of the miasma. Zach Ramsey's also known as the Miasma. Six foot nine, 280 pounds of unbridled aggression and desire. Over the last two years, Ramses has unleashed havoc upon the world of independent professional wrestling in a way that no one could have expected or been prepared for. In that time, the Miasma has wrestled matches against opponents of endless shapes, sizes, and skill levels in city after city across the east coast of the United States. The grueling and relentless challenge of ascending through the ranks of pro wrestling may be daunting to most, but Zach Ramsey has persisted on without hesitation, stepping into the ring over and over again, taking on any fight that comes his way. With his unique and dangerous combination of size, strength, sadism, and cunning, Ramses has spread the power of the miasma. While Ramses does this in the name of his own desire for supremacy and glory, he also answers to another voice, that of Erebus, the great Greek god of darkness. It is said that Erebus seeks influence and dominance across the earth, and so it plans to garner these achievements through the Grim Guild, a secret order constructed to create Erebus' image of darkness in the world today. Ramses was selected by the will of Erebus, as shared by the primordial oracle of Malum, to be the face and the basilius of this movement, as is believed that Zach Ramses is the one true miasma, the undeniable powerful beast of a man that would be the connection for Erebus to the world. Through the pathway of professional wrestling, Zach Ramses leads the quest of Erebus in its spread of darkness. Ramses believes his rise to the top of the sport of wrestling will yield all the power and influence Erebus seeks, while also resulting in the miasma being recognized as absolute feared greatness. Sharon. Were, were any of you looking for his opinion? Because I know I wasn't. Well, Vasilius, this may be shocking to you, but your jargon is not what we gathered. In fact, it never has been. Yet, in spite of everything else, you want to continue to push your own agenda. And that's not what we are here for. The only thing you should be concerned about is our darkness, our Lord of Darkness, Erebus. All right, done here. It's tired narrative. <laughs> my narrative, my narrative. It's my narrative that needs to go. Yeah, it is. I come here to aid in orchestrating the spread of influence from Erebus day in and day out, with the pure intention of bringing the comfort to the night to the focus of our society. All of you prance around, building your own brand. 
and seeking personal benefit. That is not a narrative, miasma. That is a fact. And I'm sick of these guild members here sitting back. You allow him to subjugate Aramis to his own narcissism. Really? My narcissism? You're unbelievable. The fact that you're going to come here and continue to push your ego in my face again. If you pulled your head out of your ass long enough to realize I'm the only person putting their body on the line for this guild, for this order. That is your job. You're going to talk about my job. You're going to talk about what I do. I'm the only person here that's putting their body on the line for this order, for Arabics. I sacrifice. I put myself out there. And you, you're going to step to me? I can't understand. I can't! You want sympathy for doing your job and what the son of the void demands of you? You're gonna keep doing all this in front of my guild here in this room right now! You're gonna do that! You think that's the move? You better watch your mouth because I won't be afraid to pulverize you right here right now! Your, your, your body may be of a lion, my asthma, but your words they're of a feeble lamb. So why don't you try to stop convincing the masses here that you're not a self-righteous control freak? Your defensiveness makes it so obvious! Is that what it is? That's so obvious? Tell me more, Mr. Ego! Yeah, okay, just be quiet! Be just a lamb! I'm just a little lamb! You will never be a freak! You ain't no right to come into every situation in this break! Shadashio, I've heard all I needed to hear as I entered. My recent dialogue with the great god of darkness, Erebus, has informed me of the divide that has begun to form between yourself and the miasma. Primordial Oracle, please understand that since the day I was anointed the title of the miasma in the Basilius of the Grim Guild, my only goal has been to honor the Lord of Darkness, Erebus. Primordial Oracle. I have to apologize for misrepresenting Abilene. You're really going to do this? On and on. Jesus Christ. I comprehend your intent, and have witnessed much of your yieldings as a grim guild of the Basilis. However, Shadow Shiron holds validity within his fears as well. Our organization must function as the great god of darkness Erebus did at the dawn of creation with Nyx. Darkness and night are not one and the same, but when combined and truly compatible, they create an inescapable atmosphere that even Zeus was in awe of. Zach Ramses, you're believed to be the key to that power, but you have yet to unequivocally claim that suspicion to be accurate. To the eyes of some, you have not truly embodied the darkness that defines Erebus. Perhaps you're the Wraith. Perhaps you're not. If the miasma is indeed the entity Erebus itself believes though, we must do all within our ability to accentuate this man. To limit or to hinder him is to be considered foolhardy and dangerous. Primordial Oracle, I must ask though, what if Ramses is not the being our Lord of Darkness Erebus has been seeking? Are you questioning the direct action? No, 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 like no, far from it, oh, you it? naive lummox. Watch your mouth. Erebus clearly knew this long sought after entity was among us. And I agree. But could the true Basilius of the Grim Guild already be within the order? Let's say, cast in another role waiting for the opportunity to arise. Or maybe, maybe the Grim Guild has an egomaniac in its ranks that's far more concerned with pushing his own ego than actually adhering to the will of Erebus. This is why maybe the Grim Guild should reevaluate its rankings. Maybe! Maybe! 
collected all my research and my opinions that I deem necessary to have my discussion with the great god of darkness. Await my answer, as I now connect with Erebus and my dark achievements. Unreal. After all my time on the road, wrestling every person I can with the sole purpose of spreading Erebus's darkness, I'm portrayed as the problem. That damn Shiron. He's so desperate for power, they cook up all this chaos just so he can get ahead a bit. After the Primordial Oracle spoke directly to Erebus, it was decided that I would be presented with a challenge. And now, by the end of summer, I have to truly hone darkness in more pronounced ways than I ever have before to prove my allegiance to Erebus itself, the quest, and to prove my worth as the face, or the Basilius, of the Grim Guild. If my results aren't deemed worthy by Erebus, I'll be stripped of my title and position in the Grim Guild, and no longer be considered the Miasma. Essentially, I'll be on my own, on the curb, and Shiron wins if I can't prove I'm the devious son of a bitch the sword has always expected me to be. Achieving a goal, and you have some underling parasite try to undercut you. Think that might piss you off a little bit? Yeah, I'd probably be annoyed too. I give everything to this quest. I lay my body on the line, and I do it right because it's my way. I know my way is to let you do this. Listen, like, could I give more credit to Erebus? Could I embrace darkness more? Yeah, in ways, but I know. I know my way works. Sacrifice is one thing, it's confident. Shiron's putting demons in my head. He is a power-hungry egomaniac. Stop! Stop. Well, I don't know much of what you're talking about. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. I'm gonna say, every now and then it's hard for us to take criticism or have someone else's opinions. But every now and then, it's worth to give it a shot. I mean, even if they are kind of bitch You know, see where it goes, see where it takes you. That was a bad thing. But that's just my opinion. And I've seen a lot of lost people in this city bar. I'll teach you some shit. What exactly are you being pushed to do that's so difficult? Well, you know, I'm the leader of uh, this guild I'm a part of that believes in the great Greek god of Erebus wants me to lead the formation into addressing darkness in its proper format and while doing so using the route of professional wrestling to alleviate any issues. And my fellow guild member believes I'm focusing too much on self-promotion in order to properly do so. You know, that'll... Huh. I'm trying to right over here. You've had enough already. Never tip any words. You get my point? Yeah. I bet you do. Hey buddy, other people are trying to drink too, all right? Why don't you shut the fuck up and let the bartender do his job? 
If you know what's good for you, you're gonna sit down and shut up. I am. Cause what you're gonna do, you're coming to our bar and just call us like that or your fucking fancy drinks. Huh? Why don't you do us a favor and get the fuck out? Hey, you guys sit down, you guys get like fucking kick you. Dark and asthma. Well, you too, big guy. Well, move and you're out of here too. It's all right. Thank you.